Hi guys, welcome to the session. This is Prakash, Maths Tutor. Let's solve the question which I have written on the whiteboard. Given a man observes the angle of evolution at the top of the building to be 30 degrees. He walks towards the horizontal line through the bases on covering a 60 meters and then the angle of evolution changes to 60 degree. So which means he walks 60 degree towards the building. So let's draw the tri uh, diagram first. So let ABC be the triangle where AC is the height of the, the building. And man observes the angle of evolution at the top of the building. So the man is observing at the place B. So angle B is the 30 degree. And then that person moved to the 60 meters towards the building. So this length will be 60 meters. And the person where he is standing now, and that from there, that point to the building distance is let that distance as x. So, and that angle will be a 60 degree, which is given in the question itself. Now, we it forms a right angle triangle. Now, and you can see that we have a similar triangles. So just use the basic trigonometric rules which is tan theta formula. Th we know that the tan theta is opposite side divided by adjacent side. So let's use the tan theta for both the triangles, both the triangles. So the tan theta is tan 30. Le let's solve for the the triangle ABC now. So the opposite side is the height of the building which is H and tan 30 degrees equals to H by the base is 60 plus X. So tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 is equals to H by 60 plus X. So just cross multiply will get 60 plus x is equals to root 3 into h. Now solve for the another triangle. Let, let that point as d. So that uh, for the triangle a, d, a, c. The tan theta again the opposite divided by adjacent. Here the opposite side again it's uh, the height of the building and the adjacent side is x. So tan, tan 60 value is root 3. So root 3 is equals to h by x and x is equals to h by root 3. Now just substitute this x value into the equation which we got earlier like 60 plus x is equals to root 3h so if you substitute this h x value we'll get 60 plus h by root 3 equals to root 3 into h so just subtract h by 3 h by root 3 on both sides here we need to find the h value anyway that's the reason we are uh, subtracting h by root 3 on both sides if we subtract that we'll get 60 is equals to square root square root 3 h minus h by square root 3 so now take lcm and simplify so we'll get like this so 60 is equals to h into root 3 
minus 1 by root 3 so if we take LCM we'll get root 3 into root 3 minus 1 divided by whole divided by square root 3 so root 3 times of root 3 becomes 3 so h into 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 so 60 is equals to h into 2 by root 3 2 h divided by root 3 now find the value of h just move that root 3 to the another side so we'll get 60 root 3 is equals to 2h and divide both the sides by 2 we'll get h is equals to okay fine so root 3 value is 1, 1 1.732 so h is equals to 60 divided by 2 into 1.732 so 60 divided by 2 becomes 30 so h is equals to a 30 into 1.732 so if you multiply 30 and 1.732 we get 51.9 meters so finally we can conclude that the height of the building is 51.9 meters I hope you understand this question, but thanks for watching.